I think overall it's helped our campus because a lot of other offices now want to have videos um, on their website. My name is Kate Bryce. I'm the coordinator of new student orientation and transition programs. So with orientation, students were getting a lot of information that was more text related, a ton of information via emails, and our website was just full of words. And what we've learned is that students are more receptive to um, visual things. So I wanted something that was kind of interactive, short, sweet and got to the point, not just for students but for families too. We asked to have videos created to assist them in knowing what to expect for orientation uh, and the videos were great in helping us just direct them right to it and just say we don't have to tell you the videos will tell you yourself. That's what we want. We want less phone calls and just be able to utilize the website and they wouldn't really have any questions moving forward. Having the one-on-one -on -one with David was wonderful, very personable, even though I knew him before, it still was great to have that one-on-one -on -one and really make it a clear schedule of how we wanted to run things. I think the videos were exactly what we needed. Like I said before, students are very visual nowadays and they need something that they can just listen to or have a, rec like a face they can recognize, the campus they can recognize through our videos. And I think that helped them knowing what, what was gonna happen in orientation. I know that we as a staff worked really hard to just direct everyone to the website where the videos were and we had less phone calls about all those nitty gritty details. Um, so we were able to do that and then we actually did another video, kind of a part of orientation but it was overall just Penn State Abington experience and we utilized that video, we played it for every single orientation and it was the last video of the day and it made that impact on those students and those families. They clapped every time because they're real students. They're real students in the video, they're talking about their real experience and that's honestly what students want to see. They don't want to see staff talking, they want to see other students talking. So moving forward, I think we'll all continue to use videos. We'll definitely reach out and use them again.